Hello and welcome back to Koi Craft. Don't know why I said it like that. Uh, in the last episode, I did a speed build of this here magnificent house that you see right before me. And we just moved all of our stuff in. We just kind of crammed it into this corner, which we will organize eventually once I build my base. Yeah, I know how to speak. We will organize it eventually when I build my basement. However, that's not the plan for this episode. The plan of this episode is to go to the village, which I still don't have a name for. I'm pretty sure I should give it a name. So if you have any suggestions of town names, um, leave it in the comments, I guess. If, you know, if anyone really wants to, if anyone's watching this video. <laughs> so if you have any good names for, oh wait, I kind of forgot my emeralds, hold on. If you have any good names that I could give to that village, please let me know and I shall consider it. So today in this episode, we're going to the village and we are going to be trading with a bunch of the villagers to see what they have. And you guys, I did a bit of trading off screen and you will never guess what I found. The results may shock you. Oh, why did I have many emeralds? Oh yeah, I must have spent it all when I did it off camera. Um, the results may shock you, which you probably see in the thumbnail and the title of this episode, so it's probably not that surprising. Delilah, where are you? There you go. Keep up with me, girl. I really should be taking Maurice with me, but you know, she had a long expedition. I think he uh, deserves a break. But yeah, this surprise, tw this twist in the series took me by surprise. I literally said out loud as I was playing, oh my god. And that's, about, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Thank you for listening to my story. Ah, this village. This village that has been so good to me since the beginning of this series. So, you may be wondering, what's the surprise? Well, you may not be wondering that because it's the title of this video. However, it has come to my surprise that my dear, my dear, dear friend, my lifelong friend since the beginning of the series, Meat Boy, has had a change in Korea. So Meat Boy is now the village librarian and you will never guess what trade he has. No, it's not mending. I really wish it was mending, but boom, Fortune 3. Oh my God, I have a mending book and now I have the capacity to get a Fortune 3 book. So a Fortune 3 mending diamond pick is now on the way. It is in fruition. It is now within possibility and I could not be more excited. However, I don't have any emeralds on my person right now, so I... Did you...? I, I wanted to go out there, meat boy. Why did you close the door on me? Don't you shuffle pages in retaliation. Ooh, he's a mean one. He's a mean librarian. But I don't have any emeralds, so I'm gonna have to maybe run around and spend a good portion of this video just collecting emeralds. I think I... Oh, I forgot all my potatoes and my wheat and my carrots that I was growing to sell. Hold on, let me go get that real quick. Oh, I really love this house. I love how it looks from a distance. You know, the smoke in the chimney just billow- oh. Okay, that was an accident. The smoke in the chimney just billowing away in the, uh, the distance. It makes for great scenery. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? I think I'm in love with this house a little bit too much. I'm gonna stop being so obsessive now. Okay. So now I have a bunch of wheat and potatoes that I've been carrying. Carrying? No, growing. I also want to get some more of this sugar cane so I can make some paper. Wait, no, I'll make some books instead. It's more cost effective in the sugar cane department. I also smelted a bunch of rotten flesh, so I have like a stack of leather. Ba -ba -da -ba -boo. Make that all into paper. And then what next? I need some leather so I can make some books. Come along with me, darling. Keep up. I think in the next episode, yes, I am planning for next episode. I, I've actually made like a schedule, like a listed schedule of the episodes that I'm planning to make. So this episode we're going to be, uh, da -da, wait, where is all my leather? There it is. Um, so in this episode I'm doing a bunch of training with the villagers. In the next episode we're going to be making an enchantment setup in this house. And I've made a schedule all the way to episode 20, which is when I am planning to go to the nether. 
So we'll just have to see how that goes. You know, I'm not usually good at keeping with schedules. I am actually very bad at keeping schedules. I just procrastinate until the end of time. Like, I have an English assignment due on Thursday, which I had a couple weeks to do, and well, I know that doesn't sound like anything. On the time of recording, it's Tuesday, and I have an assignment due Thursday, which I had a couple weeks to do, and I have not actually started it yet, so that's going to be a little bit interesting. So, I'm very bad at keeping with schedules, basically, so I guess we'll just have to see how that pans out, you know? Things come and go, unexpected occurrences, that sort of thing. So, Meat Boy, where are you? Are you still in here? Meat Boy? Have they all gathered at the town center? Yes, they have, because it's nearly night time. Ouch. Where did Meat Boy go? Have you guys seen Meat Boy? I forgot which house he lives in. Um, it's not in this one. No, it's not. Where is Meat Boy? Hmm. Meat Boy. Darling, where did you go? I think everyone's going to sleep now. Oh yeah, everyone's going to... Ugh. These people. Oh, Meat Boy, there you are. Okay, before you go to bed real quick, let me just... Uh, yeah. Let's get a couple emotes from you. Unlock your next trade. Wow, we've already, like, fully unlocked you. And it's just a name tag. That's not very helpful to me, Meat Boy, since I can just make my own name tags, but I appreciate the sentiment anyway. So... I have 10 emeralds. I don't think that's actually enough. I need 35 emeralds to get this Fortune 3 book. So that's going to take a little bit of grinding. Uh, let me just get that real quick. Turn it into a day so this village doesn't get swarmed by zombies. It will be a very big shame if Meat Boy died now. Um, I've been trading with one of the farmers, actually. Not entirely sure which one. So, I've almost fully unlocked that villager as well. I just need to find him. Where did he go? Is it you? No, it's not you. Where? Oh, where is this farmer? He should have some discounts as well, since he's pretty friendly with me. Because I've been trading with him so much. Are you that villager? Nope. Turn to face me, please. Yes, it's you. Okay. Um, I have a bunch of wheat for you. Discount, please. Discount? Oh yeah, discount. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, 26 emeralds. Oh, excuse me. It's not very nice, sir. Why would you do that to me? Uh, where's Meat Boy? I forgot how expensive that Fortune 3 book is. Meat Boy, where did you go? Why do you always run for me? Why do you hate me so much? I did nothing to you. Absolutely nothing of the sort. Where on earth is that little delinquent librarian? This portal, man. It's just kind of mysterious. Can you fix broken portals? Like, can portals have crying obsidian in them, or... <gasps> Speaking of unexpected occurrences, this is my favorite cat breed in this game. One of the things on my list, my scheduled list that I was talking about, is to get one of these. Specifically a tabby cat. Uh, I, do I have... I don't have my fishing rod. I can't even tame him. Oh no. Please, no. I, uh, I don't want to leave you. But I have things I need to do. Uh, I hate this game. See what I'm talking about with unexpected occurrences? Uh, okay, it's fine. It'll probably still be here by the time I get around to it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to take all this hay, turn it into wheat, trade it away for emeralds, and then hopefully we should have enough to get that Fortune 3 book. Hopefully, anyway. Meat boy, there you are. Let me just get a thumbnail with you real quick. Okay, Meat Boy, how much is that? 35, okay. I can do this. Huh? I just need, how many more? I'm very good, I'm very bad with math. Nine emeralds, nine more emeralds. 
Sir, have you run out of stock? No, you have not. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. Oh, so close, I just need four emeralds. Uh, how do I make some very quick and easy emeralds? I don't have any melons, I don't have any pumpkins. Let me try find another villager, maybe. Maybe someone... Why is that villager in a tree? What are you doing? Wow, there are so many villagers. Of course there's so many villagers in this village because it's a village. There are so many farmers in this village. I wonder what all that's about. I suppose I can give leather to the leather workers since I have that rotten flesh to leather data pack so it's not like I'm really running out of the leather. But at the same time, leather is kind of valuable and I don't want to spend it wisely. I don't want to spend it dumbly. This entire villager... village? Ugh, I can't speak today. This entire village just comprises of farmers, leather workers, and that's it. We have one librarian and one priest. <sighs> okay. What does the priest buy or sell? Hello? Wait, where is the priest? Pretty sure this village has a priest anyway. Uh, do... I can't find the priest, man. Where is the priest, man? I really need to build up this village a little bit more just so we have more professions available. I mean, this place doesn't even have a blacksmith or a toolsmith or a mason, a stone worker. I don't even think it has a fisherman. Ooh, brewing stand bubbles. I heard that. Wait, is there like a second brewing stand in this village? Oh, there's the priest. Okay. You want half a stack of rotten flesh for an emerald. That's a bit of a ripoff, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, one of the things I should do is also to make a mob grinder, just so I can get some extra mob drops. Have I found a zombie spawner in this series yet? I don't remember. I might have, but I don't remember. Uh, what time is it? It's turning night soon. I guess I could just sell the rest of... The wheat that I have around here. I feel kind of bad just taking it all and then turning it in back to them because the hay bales kind of make for interesting scenery. I mean they're kind of like backdrops for the village. But you know I'm kind of desperate and desperate times call for desperate measures so I'm just gonna have to do it. <sighs> Three more emeralds. That's all I need. Three emeralds. Uh, I'm going crazy. Please, why can't you just offer me some more discounts? That would make my life a lot more easier. How about you? What do you sell? Carrots. I'm just gonna pick the wheat for you. I hope you don't mind, but I kind of need this to speed along. Da -da -da. How many more wheat do I need? I just need three more wheat. Okay, that's 19 wheat. I... <sighs> The thing is, I just really can't be bothered going back home to get more stuff for emeralds, so I'm kind of just wandering around here trying to scrounge up enough emeralds because I'm too lazy to go back home. But I just need five more emeralds. If I can five, find... no, not five more, I need two more emeralds. I'm just going to take the rest of this weird, I don't even care anymore. Oh, Mr. Farmer, I need you because I have enough wheat in order to get two more emeralds. Where is he? There you are. Yes, we finally have enough emeralds. Uh, Meat Boy, where is Meat Boy? Meat Boy, I need Meat Boy. Where is Meat Boy? None of you are Meat Boy. Why are you looking at me? Why don't you take a picture? It lasts longer. Oh, Meat Man. Ew, that's kind of a gross name. Where is Meat Boy? Oh, is he in here still? Why aren't you with your friends in the village? But you guys. <sighs> uh, Fortune 3. Meat Boy, I think I love you. Knowledge is power. Finally have a Fortune 3 book. We have a mending book. Ooh. Wow, this place is just like... This place just has like stray cats coming out of the wazoo, doesn't it? Oop, didn't mean to throw my sword. So, Meat Boy, thank you very much for your contribution to my series. I'm going to run back home and treasure this Fortune 3 book forever. Or until I find a pickaxe to put it on. 
Run, 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 Delilah. The sun is setting. We don't want to be mobbed by more skeletons in the series, do we? I think I've died enough times to skeletons to satiate my desire to be shot by a skeleton. For at least a little while. And also I have 46 levels. And I would be very, very upset if I managed to lose it all. So let's hurry home, Delilah. We don't want to die now. Whew, okay. Made it back home. Let's run upstairs. I love how fluid that is. Very satisfying. And let's sleep. Never mind, we can't sleep just yet. Do I want to put this Bending and Fortune 3 book together? I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet, in, just in case I manage to get Fortune 3 on my diamond pickaxe. So I guess we'll just see. So I know this is a bit of a shorter episode, but I think that's going to be the end of the episode right here. So in the next one, I am planning on building a enchantment setup, probably in this room here, which I kind of blocked off. So I'm going to build an enchantment setup in this room. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!